just getting ready to leave for Mammoth. Me and Andy and Alec are gonna hop in one truck together and drive down. Those two are shooting, so I'm gonna be just driving with them, make it a lot easier since we got about 15 hour drive in front of us. Say hi, Asher. Thank you. Okay. Yep, recording. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. I'm here with Chris Andrews, the match director for the Mammoth Sniper Challenge. And uh, Chris, tell me a little bit about, you know, we, we spoke briefly coming uh, yep. into this that you had some um, kind of surprises for people going forward. Yep. We have uh, some new challenges this year. We have some new twists on old challenges this year, physical challenges, communication challenges, handgun challenges. Uh, rifle marksmanship challenges. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. I know that one of the things that is always kind of like on Tim's high list of I hope this happens <laughs> is he wants bad weather. Right. And it looks like it's gonna be fantastic weather. <laughs> Probably going to be the best weather mammoth we've had at Fort Gordon in five years. It'll be chilly at night and the ruck routes are plenty muddy from yesterday's storm, but uh, looks pretty nice so far. Got by looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here with Scott Whitehead, Joe Burdick. Guys, how many years have you been doing this? This will be my 10th year. So you've shot more mounts than anybody else. Okay? Yes, that's correct. Good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it was a wise decision, but it's a decision I made, so here I am. <laughs> Joe, how about you? This will be my seventh and my fifth with Scott. Wow. All right, so you guys shot this last year, the year before, as partners, right? We yes. did, and the year before that. How high have you placed in this one? Last year we were seventh overall okay. uh, among the entire field. The year before we actually won the regular class, which oh. no longer exists, but we were first in class that year. That's awesome, that's <laughs> awesome. So this match, um, going into it, what have you been doing training? Anything specific, anything that's changed? Man, I'd love to say that I've been uh, rocking like crazy. Um, I had an injury a couple of months ago. I've been mostly rehabbing that. Um, so. Uh, trying to take it a little bit easy, um, but we spent a whole lot of time preparing gear, reviewing what we're carrying, and, and doing a whole lot of planning, a lot of shooting. Joe, most people that know you well know that you tried to do a, an awesome stunt with your ATV. <laughs> How many mammoths have you shot since then? Uh, this will be the third one since then. First, the third one since then? No, second one since second then. Second yeah. one since yeah. then. Anything with your training that's changed? No, everything everything from that got hurt from here up is is fine now. Cool. Um, I still have a little residual problem with the arm, but um, this match isn't about upper body strength. Uh, keeping the lower body healthy <laughs> enough to finish. So um, I've just had a nagging knee injury for a long time. I'm kind of in the same boat as Scott. We've been both kind of trying to train and not get hurt at the same time. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like the same thing we've always done. It's just more ibuprofen. <laughs> well, guys, good luck. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> so I am with Andy and Alec. Guys, this is your first time shooting Mammoth. What is your biggest point of excitement and what are you most nervous about? Biggest point of excitement, I think for me, is just to learn how it all goes, man. See how things happen out there and just kind of take it in stride and see if we can work as a team as best as possible. Um, I think we're gonna do great there. Uh, most nervous about missing a ruck, because that would suck, because <laughs> I want to get through it all. That is the, the biggest thing for me, is just making sure we get to the finish line. Yeah, I'm just excited to see how we stack up against everybody else, being that this is both our first competition. It's gonna be fun to see how we stack up against people that have been doing it for a while. And same, just want to complete the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Well, good luck, guys. Appreciate it, Nick. I'm Chris Andrews, the match director. Uh, welcome to our fifth Grunt Style Vortex Optics Mammoth Sniper Challenge at Fort Gordon. Uh, a lot of you, a few of you, some of you were here. I was just reminded five years ago when I was standing on the tailgate of my truck in the rain doing this brief. Uh, and now we have this great stage. So we've come a long way in five years. Not too bad. Thanks, Chris. Just on behalf of uh, the Garrison Commander and our Senior Commander, uh, General Stanton, just want to welcome everybody and just tell you how proud we are to have you here. Uh, the cal caliber of folks that, that participated in this, uh, second to none. I just want to ask before we get started, because you're not going to want to do this after you've suffered through the weekend, but let's give Chris and his crew a round of applause for this. It's 
been a couple of years since we had that guy that got lost uh, and won the year before that. But know who your squad leader is, be clear on where you're going, be clear on where you're ending, and be clear on the time you have to get there. We have 90 teams stepping off this morning, which is the largest field we have ever stepped off. We're gonna rock, we're gonna get there, we're gonna drop our gear, we're gonna brief, we're gonna shoot, we're gonna pack up and rock again. We've got a lot to get done in three days. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top in the legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half guns I got Mr. Alec here and Mr. Andy in the back. Guys, it was your first mammoth and actually your first match all together. What'd you guys think? <laughs> Much tougher than I had originally anticipated. Yeah. The shooting, the rucking, the mental mind games, all of it was a lot tougher than I was anticipating. So I can't say the same. It was super easy. <laughs> I really, it was just a breeze. Even with no training, we showed up just kind of did the thing and I know Andy struggled but just yeah. tried carrying the team as best I could embarrassed everybody there yeah, you know you I mean, tried just not emasculated to, just... a bunch of you know <laughs> just really alpha type men <laughs> yep. make it back down to earth and uh, what actually happened at the match no it was an ass kicker um, <laughs> probably should train more than a month ahead of time uh, the rucks 16 minute miles were no joke uh, definitely, yeah, definitely needed more than one month of training leading up to Mammoth for the rock portion. Shooting, again, like you said, it was my first match, my and Andy's first precision rifle match of any kind of, you know, of any kind. And I feel like they did a good job trying to lay out all the stages, but having never done it before, we showed up to the first stage <laughs> and overthought it way more than we needed to. Um, they tell us to shoot. We got gongs on an orange post right away, and I show up, and I see a bunch of circle targets, and apparently that's a gong. I didn't realize that once we started shooting the competition. 
Um, so we didn't even engage those targets right So now. let's clarify it. When you thought of Gong, what exactly were you looking for? You mean like a, <laughs> I, a I was, dimpled piece of I brass? I was looking for a brass circle <laughs> that may or may not have had Chinese writing on it. I'm not serious about the Chinese writing, but I told that Andy after the match, I'm like, what the fuck did I think it was going to say? <laughs> Fucking China walk on the side of it? Like, what the hell was I looking for as we're staring oh at circles? God. So, no. Yeah. Just, it was definitely jumping in, you know, feet first with no practice, but it was a good experience. You know, I, I want to actually thank both of you for allowing me to put a camera in your face this weekend. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't overly distracting. I got some... I think we would have finished first if you wouldn't have been in our face. Oh yeah, is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I, got, I got some hero shots of you. Hopefully none of them are embarrassing, but I'm sure that they probably are, so I apologize ahead of time. I'll, I'll, I'll let you look at the video before I pop it up. And then I'll post it regardless of what you say. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for letting us tag along with you this weekend. Yeah, it was a lot wow. of fun. Learned a lot. Your brain out, so.